this is something that I'm going to include just because I had tried to initially include it. Uh, the last news uh, went on way too long, and there was no way I was going to fit it in. So it was one of those uh, balancing acts, and uh, all of this had to be cut unfortunately. And so uh, it's just a quick segment. Um, I was initially thinking of doing a top 10, and then I thought, well, I don't want to leave anyone out. And then I thought, well, maybe I'll just do like an honorable mention and just throw out creatives that way. And so people who I can think of would be mentioned and kind of leaving it at that. And so uh, this is honorable mentions. Coming up first, this is Living Hal. Living Hal is actually the model on In Dreams. Her images, I've actually mentioned her story films and that was like the first event that uh she went to so really nice polite model uh, has a lot of unique creative concepts and does creative modeling coming up next is bp images forever that is Byron Love. Byron Love is also one of the featured photographers for In Dreams. Byron, I haven't shot with, but I've actually seen him shoot at different places. Like, we've been at different places at different times. I know recently he's done, like, I think, a post sessions. Uh, he pops up here and there, and I've never shot with him at the same place, but I think coming up we'll actually be shooting at the same time. Um, here's like some of his images and some of his work that he's done. And so he does like pretty, you know, clean, nice black and white photography. He, he has like a good eye for color when it comes to, you know, color photography. And so, yeah, he's like, a, a well-versed photographer. Coming up next is Nicole's Visuals. Nicole's Visuals. I've met actually at Art and Chill. We met, I want to say last year, and I had all of these, like a flash, a light, an LED, a this, a that, whatever, and uh, she, like, came up by, like, oh, did you need a hand with these, like, 50 different things that you have, and I was like, wait, uh, uh, maybe, I don't know, and then uh, she was just sort of, like, watching me fumble and everything, but she was incredibly polite, and um, here's uh, some of her images and her photography style, Here's like another image that she has taken a black and white photo and like it ha it sort of reminds me almost of the twilight zone or like a I can't quite like it's its own it's its own image like it has a good storytelling element. Here's a different photo that she has taken where, again, just something something to her photo style. The next honorable mention is Vision Studios. And uh, it's funny because at the beginning of the month, I was just catching up with their events and they just finished uh capture connections and i remember i had uh mentioned that one in a group and then uh i think it was like kendra taylor and then john fox like later i see them in the the post kendra waving like oh wait hey there's 
You know, there's both of them. That's cool. And uh, then Vision Studios uh, recently finishing their Blacklight event, which if you haven't seen uh, some of the artwork from Natasha Adams, you should definitely check out uh, her painting skill. Uh, I know that Instagram, for some reason, uh, prohibited uh, some of her shared painting images, but I'm just putting up her handle just so that some people could see uh, some of her painting talents that she has. When you're able to see the black light images, you see like how the paint is illuminating, how it sticks out and how it shines with the black lights on it. And then when you look at it, in contrast to the actual light and the details in the light, how much effort and how much energy Natasha put into everything that she did for that shoot. Um, that was pretty uh, awesome. And so I was just uh, mentioning that because I know that uh, for some reason it was restricted and she wasn't able to be shared. So I was just highlighting her handle so that you could see it down at the bottom uh natasha adams and uh yeah and the next honorable mention is cindy lou cindy lou 84 uh if you have followed cindy lou she is a cosplay artist uh various Skull Designs uh, had recently done a kind of blood type of photo shoot. And also, I did want to mention too, uh, halfway to Halloween, May 11th and the 12th, uh, Cindy Lou is going to be featured at that event as well. Uh, she does, she's here, she's there, she's everywhere. Uh, if you haven't followed or checked out Cindy Lou, uh, you definitely want to see her craft work, design work, what she puts into her costumes, what she puts into her characters, her styling. Uh, she just develops so much into her looks and uh, it shows in her photos. So she's definitely someone who's interesting to follow. You could check her out at Cindy Lou 84 link down there. Follow that. And uh, yeah. And the last person, which last but not least and needs you know, kind of like, I would say, pomp and circumstance needs kind of like the celebratory honorary mention. Sydney Nova Art, and I think it's kind of long overdue. Um, something, you know, where she has probably been, I would want to say, the longest tenure member at shooting stars and uh yeah kind of like i would say outlasted the majority of everyone involved i know like for anyone who's followed uh the meets of shooting stars um the last four or five months have been adjustments in managing and organizations and getting uh, the meets more stable and organized and sorting of various issues and structure and just having things be fine. And uh, I think finding people who wanted to just be creative and have a space for that creativity and be helpful and contribute in a good way is harder than it sounds. Um, I think in the grand scope of things, you know, it's easier to say than it is to do. And I think that, uh, 
Sydney is definitely a doer. I think that's something too, like uh, looking at the title head, a uh, creative lead. Um, she's someone who's shown that she's deserves uh, recognition. Just want to take this moment to uh, recognize admin team member and uh, essentially just give the team member their flowers and say thank you. I appreciate you and I'm glad to have you on the team. Thanks. So this is Mike. You've been watching the news. This might be the last update, so uh, stay safe, stay sane, have a good time at meets, and take care.